We produce this video to provide you with vital directional and safety tips so your visit with us goes as smoothly as possible. We understand the pressures of your job, and our goal is to help you complete the unloading process quickly and safely so you can get back to your route. While on site, all cell phones must be put away. Cell phone use, including texting, is prohibited at our landfill. There are many trucks and tractors working at this landfill, and we want your full attention. Focus on your job and on following our safety requirements while on site so you stay safe. As you enter our facility, you'll see the scale house. When it's your turn, pull onto the scale and proceed to the scale house window. The scale attendant will answer your questions and will also ask you some questions about your load and whether you have a safety vest. If you don't have a safety vest, we will provide one for you. Our scale attendant may also give you instructions regarding where you should unload. As you leave the scale house, proceed with caution. Watch for directional and safety signs as you drive to your dumping area. This is a very busy landfill, and at peak times, the scale, roads, and tipping area can be very congested. Obey all posted speed limits and drive defensively. In other words, watch out for the other guy. Shortly after leaving the scale house, you'll arrive at the dumping area. This is where most vehicles dump their trash. The tipping pad, where trucks unload, and the working face, where trash is pushed, spread, and compacted, are the most dangerous areas at the landfill. Stay alert and maintain a high level of situational awareness. There are some important things to consider while at the dumping area. Our equipment operators are constantly looking to see where people and vehicles are located. But we also need your help. Always wear your safety vest while on site. It makes you more visible to the operators and to everyone else. Please follow all posted signs directing you to the appropriate dumping area. There may be a separate staging area for untarping your load or unlatching your tailgate. Use this area for this purpose only. Remember, no cell phones. As you exit the staging area, proceed to the unloading area. If a traffic director, known as a deck commander, is present, follow his or her instructions. If there is no deck commander, an equipment operator may help direct you to the correct dumping area. When approaching your designated area, proceed at low speed while scanning your surroundings. Take the time you need to stop, read, and observe. Remember that other vehicles may also be waiting in line to dump, back into position, unload, or exit. Be courteous and respectful of other drivers. Once you have identified your dumping area, look for an open slot, some place where the trash has not already been dumped. Always be aware of the location of each bulldozer, compactor, or other heavy equipment in the area, as well as other trucks. If there are deck commanders, always be aware of their location, and if you can't see them, stop your vehicle. Never back up directly behind a dozer or compactor that is pushing waste. You could be in their blind spot. Never back into a slot if there is a dozer or compactor in that slot, or in the adjacent slot. When possible, you should dump in the sequence established by the deck commander and other trucks. We generally work in a left-to-right or right-to-left pattern. We call this the typewriter process. It allows the heavy equipment to maintain a safe distance from the vehicles as they are dumping. And it also helps you and other drivers know where the next load should be dumped. This process also allows the landfill equipment operators to efficiently do their job, which is building a daily cell out of waste. Several types of waste have to be placed in different locations, and by following the directions of the deck commanders and operators, you help support this effort. Please do not jackknife or alley dock your trailer because this creates a blind spot. There is plenty of turning room to be able to pull all the way forward before shifting into reverse. Once you have safely backed into an open slot and are ready to dump, you will likely need to exit your vehicle. Make sure you are wearing your safety vest. Always leave a safe zone between your truck and adjacent vehicles. A good rule of thumb is to be at least 10 feet from any other vehicle. If you are near an end dump or any other truck that must raise its bed to dump, your safe spacing is the height of the raised trailer plus an additional 5 feet. Always stay close to your vehicle. If you see someone you know and would like to speak with them, wait until you have left the dumping area. There is absolutely no smoking at the dumping area or anywhere else on site. 
All children, pets, and passengers must remain in the vehicle. If you have a helper who will assist you with unloading, they must follow the same guidelines, including wearing a safety vest and staying close to the vehicle. Wandering away from your vehicle for any reason is not allowed. If you must move away from your vehicle, say to retrieve your hard hat that blew off, you must first contact the deck commander or equipment operator so that they can notify other workers. Only then may you move away from your vehicle. Scavenging is extremely dangerous and we do not allow it under any circumstances. Scavenging is a contributing factor in many serious accidents and fatalities. To reduce the risk that your vehicle could tip over, make sure you are dumping on smooth level ground. Whenever possible, you should be in your cab with the seatbelt fastened when dumping your load. If your truck's controls require you to be outside while dumping, you should constantly monitor your truck's stability and maintain awareness of your surroundings. We always do our best to maintain a smooth level tipping surface, but if you are not comfortable or something just doesn't feel right, stop and move your truck to another location. Never dump your load if it cannot be done safely. You are the driver and you are responsible for the safe operation of your vehicle. Always take time to unload in a safe and controlled manner. This helps protect you and others nearby. It will also prevent damage to your vehicle. Pay attention to wind conditions, because high winds can cause any vehicle to become unstable, especially a vehicle that raises to dump. Always use your best judgment. If the load in your truck gets stuck, never stand behind the truck or try to dislodge the load by manually pulling on it. Do not reverse your truck, and then slam on the brakes in an effort to dislodge a stuck load. This is abusive to your truck and can also make it very unstable and prone to tip over. Instead, lower your bed and ask an operator for assistance. We have machines on site that can help release your load safely. If you are raising your bed and someone pulls up too close beside you, stop, lower your bed, and ask the other vehicle to please relocate to a safer dumping location. If they are unwilling to relocate, you may contact the deck commander, wait until they unload and drive away, or simply relocate to a safer location. Once you've dumped your load at the working phase, drive to the clean-out area. Do not clean out in any other area. It's difficult for our operators to pick up trash once it's scattered around the facility. If cleaning out requires that you enter the truck body, make sure your vehicle has been locked out and tagged out before continuing with vehicle cleanout. If you must clean around the rear of the truck, use a long-handled broom or tool. Never put yourself under a raised tailgate. Hydraulic systems can fail in an instant. Don't take the risk. All of the same rules apply here as they do in the dumping location. If you don't need to clean out your truck after dumping, please proceed back to the scale house. Landfills are open year-round, so there is a chance you'll be visiting our facility during inclement weather. Extreme weather can vary from high winds and heavy rain to snow, ice, and thunderstorms. Our crew is trained to work during inclement weather, but if at any time the landfill becomes unsafe to dump because of extreme conditions, one of our staff will inform you to stay in your vehicle until conditions are safe to dump. Or, if you feel unsafe for any reason, you may simply wait for conditions to change. Our goal for you is to feel safe and be safe. In very extreme weather conditions, the landfill may close. Please follow the directions of the staff because they have training to determine whether conditions are safe or not. As you exit the landfill, please follow all the rules that applied on your way in. That means no speeding, no phone calls, and no texting. Once you approach the scale house, you may need to scale out. Typically, the scale house attendant would have informed you if you needed to stop on the way out. If you borrowed a safety vest or other safety equipment, please return it to the scale house attendant. Our number one goal at our landfill is to make sure everyone who comes through the gate leaves just the way they came in, safely. Our entire crew has been trained how to do their job efficiently and safely. We need your help to accomplish this vital goal. We appreciate your effort to be part of our safety team and look forward to seeing you next time.